Texas. Okay, here we are. We're in New York, and it's in October 2013, uh, 25th, I think, Friday. This is about uh, alien implants, robotic programs, uh, body programs. So let's uh, start off with uh, robotic programs that are maybe in your hands, okay? So kind of wiggle your hands. And I work with your left hand first, okay? Here we go. I'm going to take away some implants that are there that are, and or robotic programs. Here we go. Releasing these now. Okay, wiggle your hand, see how it feels. Does it feel like it's moving better? Okay. And I'll do your other hand, your right hand. Okay, kind of wiggle that. And once you look at your two hands and see if your left hand is glowing more than your right, or it just looks a little different, smaller. Okay. 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 Here we go. Ready? Releasing the energies out of that. Okay, now check out your hands. Same size. Same size. <laughs> okay, so what I will say is the, uh, what, what's here, and I mentioned this before, but you may not know about this, but on December 21st, there were about some before, maybe a month or two before, up to the end of the year, the clones, uh, the people here got abducted, humans got abducted, went to the Beyondo and ships, and then they brought back clones of that person here. So these people are clones that you see, probably 90% of them. So, which means that we probably have 10% humans in here and 90% clones. So, look at the person next to you. <laughs> okay, so what I have on my website, I, I felt, uh, Pretty bad when I was looking at all this situation last year. Is what are the aliens going to do to that clone physical looking body here that, that the aliens created, the different races created a body? What are they going to do with them? Well, so far, I think it went through three different generations of clones, maybe four mm -hmm. since that time. So, I'll just, so, so on the website, what I have is a clearing, uh, which I'll have to put back on again, which is the uh, uh, cloned uh, light, to light. To light clearing. So what it does, the light will, if you, you put a person's name in, we'll just say it's your neighbor, right? And uh, you put their name in, start the clearing, and the light will take that cloned replica body and put, re recreate it with light. So now the body has light in it and put in the spirit. Now the person is human. Put that up, yeah, yeah, I'll be putting that up again, yeah. So you're going to put the same spirit that was before or something? Uh, it'll be a different spirit, probably, because the other spirit is probably uh, in, in the food chain of the aliens. So you're saying that they could eat souls, you're saying? Oh, that's what they do, yeah. Uh-huh. So and and body. Food tastes good to them? Though. Very possibly, yeah. So it's too late to use the clone, the Apollo Light clone today to bring us back if, if some of us went? Well, it, could you repeat the question, Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the question is, uh, uh, the first thing is is that you, you can have the person become human, number one. Next one is about the clear on the website about it, what if you're out there in a sense in a cloned universe and you're trapped or something, uh, the, the light can attempt to find you. So the light only looks for light and the light only comes here every 2,000 years for the ascension process. So it comes to this planet, looks for light, which is what it created spirits, okay, and takes them off. Uh, it's, it's like a manual reset. Now if you're on the planets of light, the true light, I should use that term, we'll say, then uh, uh, you automatically don't even deal with darkness, but here we have darkness. So somehow, uh, for whatever happened, uh, people have chose darkness now because they're doing their praying to God and doing mantras and everything else. Anything outside of yourself is suspect. Okay, 
because you don't know what you're connecting to. So, you know, that's the basic teachings of Jesus is to go within, the kingdom is within. He didn't say to go outside of himself to look for something. So, with my viewpoint, what I see is all the churches have a different alien God that people are praying to and you get abducted into that particular situation. Who they are and what they are, it doesn't matter. Okay, what does the sign say? What? what? We just started. We just started. We just started. Eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock lecture. It's eight o'clock. 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 It
now has light codes put into it. The original blueprint? It'll be a, of the body that you have right now. No, what I'm saying is if we were a clone before the moment you just did that, mm -hmm. that clone was the clone of a human body somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Was that body just brought forward into... No, no. no. That body is in the beyond in darkness. There's no way to retrieve it? No way to, to retrieve it? Yeah, there's no way to uh, retrieve it? Probably by accident. Remember, you're in darkness and the light doesn't know darkness. Okay? So light just looks for light. It'll come here and look for light. If it happens to find somebody maybe just on the edge of where the darkness, you know, where it goes completely out, then the light comes to find it. They go, oh, there's some light over here, right? I like being in an airplane looking down on the ground, you know, at night. You know, you might see a light way over there. Well, light will look for the light. And then when it gets there, basically something else. Can I have the clone body, clone clearing card? Life, can I still use that to try to get back what they may have left? Yeah, you can. Uh huh. Okay. So, yep. so I could call it back. If I yeah, yeah, it, okay. yeah, possibly, yeah. Okay. Uh, those are the not clearings totally for. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not hopeless, no. But the, the fact that we don't have our original human body, which is now lost in the darkness, isn't really that important because it was only a vehicle for the spirit. Yes. So we have our original spirit in us now, and if we were using a clone vehicle, it's now been turned into a human vehicle. Yes, uh huh. So that, that's good. You know, uh, what will happen at ascension time is that the light, when it turns itself off, remember, I think the Bible talks about the so many days of darkness. Well, that's when the light turns itself off to its creation. <clears throat> Some water here. So at that point, there's no, nothing is created in light. So think of an electromagnet, right? You probably have done that, with, you know, in school when you're younger, you know, picks up little metal filings and stuff. Well, you put, energize it, right? Picks up the filings. And then when it turns itself off, the filings drop away. The filings are the darkness. So darkness can't, can't, be a host if you're not here. Mm -hmm. Am I loud enough in the back still? Mm -hmm. Is my voice loud enough for all of you? <coughs> I can't hear you. Yes. Would you consider the aliens demons? Yeah. Demon uh -huh. spirits? Yeah. I imagine there could be some good aliens out there. You know, I've run across just very few. You know. Uh, basically, you know, a drop in the bucket, you know, is you know, a piece of grain of sand on the beaches. But uh, they all seem to have just an agenda. Yeah, yeah the, the main agenda is to cause harm, take away your free will, free choice, and to take your body energies. But how come they have so much power? Uh, I think initially when we started dealing with timelines, maybe through Atlantis, and then more recently through the atomic bomb going off and uh, you know tearing up the orc field of the earth World War II and stuff is when the aliens came in here. And the people doing their prayer work, doing their mantras, doing their, their, their energetic work to save the planet. All that stuff is running energy outside of yourself. It might sound good on paper or a great cause, but they're taking all that psychic energy like what they had in uh, uh, was it 86 or 87 with the harmonic convergence? Just think of all these people praying to hit, bring peace here. They're just tearing holes in the in the atmosphere here, in the ozone and everything else to bring in all the aliens. Now the darkness can heal. It can use the light of the darkness to heal. That's what you see in all the churches. You're not, you're not seeing the, the actual Jesus doing the healing. It's the Jesus of the light of the darkness. Do you consider John of God uh, a light worker or a dog? Uh, he uses entities. He does. Yeah, that's what, that's what he said. He uses entities. Dead doctors. So. Basically. Okay. okay. So it's not like that. No. It, it's. Uh, it's uh, yeah. Can darkness help us be saved? No. No. Oh, okay. No. Oh. It, it'll keep you in the trap. So darkness can't help you to be saved or, or to be safe or anything because the darkness is holding you here so it can use you. Yes. That's, that's the most unfortunate thing. Yes? Yeah, How we can... Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. How we can change education system? I don't know about that. As far as educating people, 
Uh, most people, when they see my website, they kind of like think, uh oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, I wasn't talking about aliens because I wasn't involved with aliens. And I got talking about aliens because going to a few conferences, people come up to me and say, Ron, you know, they used to go by E.T. Ron. So that to me is true. I'm an alien to the aliens. I'm an E.T. <laughs> but they didn't see it as that. They saw me as, you know, some way to help them out, which is true. So then I thought for a long time about putting up an alien attack page, and I put one up. It's uh, basically, I think it's 30 bucks a month, dollar a day, 10 bucks a week. And it's, I think, nine different categories, options on the page, and it's very, very extensive. And you want to get on that, and it can help you, and leave the light beam up. So as far as helping people, uh, most people, like I said, are clones now. They're not going to really understand what's happening. Uh, they won't have their consciousness. Uh, you probably have seen that. I, I can describe what happened to me. Went into, uh, uh, or a person that I know, went into a store with a $100 bill and gave the person the $100 bill and some other change to buy something for $100 and something like 110 bucks or something. And the clerk didn't know at the time, this is around maybe February, didn't know at the time how to give change for a $100 bill. You don't have enough change here or enough money. And another lady who we saw at a conference uh, went to buy something, and we'll just say it was $10.99, okay? So she had the exact change, you know, got out her purse and everything, and there it was. And the clone lady didn't know how. She said, well, you have to give me $11. Didn't know how to count the change. Okay, so you may have had that yourself. Okay, we're just, you just don't get it. More recently, I went uh, about a week ago to get an ice cream cone at Burger King, right? <laughs> at night. And, uh, you know, that's healthy food, right? So anyway, I only eat healthy stuff. So anyway, so we, we go in there and I, I went to the ATM and I, you know, got out my, my, dug in my pocket and pulled out the money and I happened to have, you know, the 20s plus a $10 bill. So I'll use a 10. So I knew that I had a 10. So I, Get, you know, get the ice cream cone, get, get the lady the $10 bill, and she gives me change for a 20. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I go, and I told her, what? something else. Yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her, I said, well, I said, you, you know, this is, the change isn't right. So she goes, oh, okay, hang on. So she opens the drawer up and she's going to give me another $10 bill. I go, no, no, you misunderstand me. I said, I said, you, 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 get, you know, I don't want you to be short to lose your job in your drawer or anything to cause you harm. Just, you know, she goes, well, I said, yeah, I actually gave you a 10. She goes, oh. So she had the manager count the drawer. So I had to pull around and, you know, wait for about five minutes. So she comes out and she says, well, it's, it's, uh, the drawer's even, so, so I got a free ice cream cone. So what happened was the timeline shifted along with that. Okay. So somehow they must have received or thought they received a 20 on that timeline. Okay. When they counted the drawer, it was correct, but I gave her a, a 10, you know, because I, I knew that it was a 10. Um, so, so uh, uh, timelines are what we deal with here. So you're being turned off and on. Remember, you're like a sine wave, okay? So you're on and off and on and off. You don't know when you're off. So when you're off, you're not here, okay? You could be abducted onto another timeline that's turned on. So I guess a little complicated, but that's kind of what happens. And you can be on, say, 500 timelines. So, yes? What about Arcturians, Pleiadians? They're, they're supposedly the good aliens? Not only because they say they are. So the Arcturians, good. no, I think they're all probably pretty negative. I've battled them before, so yes. Mm -hmm. Yes? There was something. You, I was watching one of your videos, and you were starting to say about using two computers, and then you got distracted to answer something else, so I never got oh, to Okay, yeah, some people actually have two computers up. They'll have one for the basic <coughs> clearing that they want to do, and maybe they might do one for gray skies or something. At the same time? Yeah. Now, if you do multiple clearings, and you want to put up the same page more than one time, be very cautious of how your body's going to respond to it. You might be good putting up a half dozen clearings or ten clearings, you go, well, this is great. I'm really saving time, plowing through a lot of stuff. 
and then you put one on and all of a sudden you go, oh, gee, this is really heavy. So you got to be kind of careful because your body has to process the energy. So what happens is when you do a clearing, it takes away the gunk, the negativity out of you, okay? And then your body has to fix itself, we'll say, right, because the light puts in peace energy. So you may have to go through a process of having your body readjust to that particular clearing. Why is it when you clear yourself rapidly, people that are close to you, for some reason they have to pick fights and just argue, it's like they're possessed? Yeah, well, because they're seeing you changing. Could you repeat the question? Yeah, yeah, the question is about people uh, around you as you do a clearing, they may not understand <clears throat> what you're doing, they may become angry with you, they may argue with you, they may want to reject you, it's because you're changing. And it's you're breaking like, out it's of... It's almost like vampire energy. I mean, they just want you to explode just to just grab what you got. Yeah. Well, they run, run away from us. Yeah. They'd rather yeah. not be with us. Yeah. See, they're less and less you may friends. scare them because, because what's in their body, if they have a shape shift or maybe looking out of their eyes, seeing you changing, seeing you have more light, and they're afraid of that. That's why it's really hard to talk about these clearings and what we're doing because most people don't get it. It's just over their head, and then they'll, and the darkness will come in. So if you're going to be doing a clearing on yourself, you may want to do the 2,000 year of darkness barcode clearing on the people around you. And then that will take away some of that stuff, which is what they normally be reacting to. Yes? So is neuroplasticity the same thing as what kind of energy is nirvana? I don't know. Anything outside of yourself, uh, nirvana uh, energy, anything outside of yourself is still suspicious that it could be darkness. So if you're doing yoga, at what point do you say, well, this is good for my body, but now I'm feeling some, something that's not so great? Yeah, yeah, it all depends how, you know, what you're getting hooked up to. Mm -hmm. well, that's if you start chanting or doing anything at all, uh, you know, to train yourself to do something, then you're, you're controlled. Aren't you fact, really doing a robotic program when you're doing some of this stuff? Like I know yeah. I try to do um, a yoga, depending on what yoga master was teaching it to me, I could feel the energy of the entities that were involved. And then I started to realize, even now I'm starting to see because of the robotic programs you gave us, there's a robotic programs for sure now. Yeah, so let's uh, work with, uh, uh, I'll work with stuff inside of your uh, your necks. I talked about releasing some implants. So on my conference calls that I do on normally on uh, Sundays, the last couple of times I started taking out pins out of people's necks and bolts and hardware attached to your like a helmet and stuff. So here we go. You ready? Why don't you move your neck around? See if you have any uh, kinks or anything. <laughs> okay, and just kind of see how it feels. So here we go. This will probably take about three minutes here. Just taking off some pins now. You, you might feel your body jerking, and, and that's normal if it does that. Okay? This is like spikes going through your, your, your body. This was put in by the aliens, so it's just unfortunate what we go through here. Okay, how does that feel? Anybody's neck a little freer? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now what I'll take out is like a, a nut and a bolt. Right, where they're trying to fasten something to you, mm -hmm. like Frankenstein or something, okay? <laughs> okay, how's that feel? Any more movement? No, not good. A lot better? Yeah. What's interesting about what you just said was, I've been on the past few weeks Sunday healings absentee. So I got the results of it, but I didn't know what I was getting. But what I've had for the past two weeks is like slip disc in my neck and pain in my neck. And now you're explaining to me why all of a sudden I have these pains. My body's readjusting to the mm -hmm. absence mm -hmm. of these things. <clears throat> Good. How we can repair our DNA? You can repair your DNA. You really don't want to. In fact, I'll just turn your DNA off. Oh, up for this lecture. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. yep. Here we go. There, it's turned off. How's your body feeling? What 
<laughs> butt body, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to repair? I thought we were trying to get to the 13-strand DNA, all that DNA activation. Oh, they call us crap. Yeah. Is there just new age enough? crap. Mm. So what do you think about metaphysics? All you want to do is stay with your spirit and go within. Mm. Everything outside of yourself, trying to learn all this stuff you know, what they're trying to teach you. Remember, there wasn't much happening here until the 70s in mm -hmm. metaphysics, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you get all these New Age churches, you know, have your mind create your reality. So what are you doing? You're using mind energy to cause somebody some harm, mm -hmm. right? Because you're forcing the energy against somebody's free will. It's like finding your parking place. That's the big thing, you know, and all yeah. some of these churches, oh, I got, I got my parking place. Well, why did the guy move? Maybe the guy went to a store to buy something and his wife's in one store and he's in the other looking at hardware stuff and she's looking at drapes and curtains and all of a sudden she's more intuitive and this big whammy hits her, wow, I gotta leave, you know? Because she found out somebody, you didn't know, but, but she got a psychic attack when somebody wanted to get that parking place, right? So now she pulls the poor man out of the hardware store, <laughs> right? And now they get out and get in their car and they leave and the person goes, wow, God is good, I've got this parking place, this really works, you know? <laughs> So then you're energetically corded to that person, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll take away some energy cords. So since we're working with the neck, we'll do that with the neck here. So here we go. Take away cords from people that are thinking of your neck that don't like you, maybe. Okay, how's your neck feel now? Anybody have any heat? Heat in their bodies? Relaxed? Okay. Planets to your neck? Okay, here we go. Whole different uh, scenario here. That, that was for people. Now uh, we'll do planets. Recordings. Okay. There. Okay. So my website, what I have is uh, it's a uh, Planet, star, vortex, cording. So if you have, if you're affected uh, by whatever people tell you in the horoscope, you know, I use the word horror. <laughs> the horoscope, and, uh, you know, do that clearing because it can help you out. Horoscope. Oh, man. When you say to go within, go within. Oh, the mind of heart drop. Here we go. So what you want to do is, just you have to say out loud, because if you don't say it, you can whisper it, but if you don't say it out loud, then you're in darkness, and you're in mind energy, because you're thinking it. Okay? So you have to command your spirit, so you say, I command my spirit to take my thoughts in my head and drop it into my heart. Very simple. And I count from 10 to 1 backwards, because it's an easy thing for people to do. You can do like 1 and 2 and do it, but I'll do, do it the long way. So here we go, dropping down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There. So now you're at peace. And when you're at peace, you can't think because you don't have thoughts in source energy because source energy can't judge. So now you can see how the people who are doing all these channelings and stuff and channeling divine masters and they're talking about something. Now you can realize or angels are, are channeling through somebody. It's all darkness. You can still give good, good information though. Okay, it still can be valid. But uh, when you're in source energy, then there's, there's no thoughts because you're at peace. Because source energy can't judge itself. But judge itself then it would be darkness. How long do your, the clearings last? Do you have to do it every so often when you feel as if you're being re-implanted or re -attacked? It depends. If you do a whole lifetime emotional clearing, that one's completed. But then what you bring forward after that is what you know you have to deal with. So you know whatever gets triggered in you will bring up your DNA stuff from the past. But normally you're like a baby after you have that clearing done. Is there anything on the site that will neutralize these triggers of people pressing buttons to get a response out of yeah, somebody? Yeah, yeah, the, the emotional clearing does that. It does. Okay. Yeah, the emotional clearing should get rid of probably a good 90% of your stuff. So you have 
most humans, okay, have, have you know, first it's emotions, okay? So, you do, so right away, what happens is some people look at my website and they go, oh God, he's got all these clearings from A to Z, right? Well, you don't need all those clearings. It'd be nice to have all of them, but you don't need them, okay? So the emotional one is the big one. And then after that, uh, find out what your issues are. Maybe you have a little bit of fear left, maybe you have some anxiety, maybe you have some trauma, maybe you're an empath, uh, maybe your sensory body gets overstimulated, and kind of work on those. You have a pain body too. But basically, you know, if you have a few issues, and do the emotional one and just see where you lie. If you say, I feel this, I feel that, that means that you're using your feeling body because your emotional body is already trashed. It's full of gunk. But just uh, the emotional clearing should get rid of most of your stuff. And when people do that, their face changes, they'll look, look younger normally after maybe a couple of weeks. People will say, gee, what happened to you? You know, you go out to eat with people, you will say at lunch or dinner, right? Uh, or, or maybe you're in the work settings and somebody's going, yeah, 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 my boyfriend, my girlfriend, you know, you know how it is, all that stuff. And you go, why am I even here? Before you probably integrated and talked with them and got involved in, in the soup, you know. And after you get the clearing, you're going to say, you know, I'm not even going to deal with that anymore. It's your stuff. You know, get a clearing. I don't want to get drugged into the past. We could use the timeline question to make sure that they don't keep coming because they're still part of your soul family, am I correct? Oh, yeah. That's right. why they keep oh, yeah. coming back to you, yeah. trying to, to egg you on. <laughs> okay, okay. So, your soul family, the people around you typically can be in your soul family. So, they could be, you know, we'll just say 50 people for sure, you know, that you've met in your lifetime, you know. And it could be hundreds, but we'll just say 50. So, all those people, the spirits can come in and out of your body. So let's just say that uh, uh, this lady in the front here had a lot of problems losing her wallet, purse, okay? So you leave her purse at somewhere absentmindedly and, and she finally learned to, you know, tie it onto her body. So she goes, well, that solved that problem, right? And then all of a sudden somebody in the soul family says, you know, I want to lose my purse and I want to know how that feels. So I want to have that experience, okay, because it's in the DNA in that body. Mm -hmm. So the spirit comes into your body and sure as bananas you lose your purse. And you go, how could I do that? Mm -hmm. I learned that lesson, right? That's what happens. Somebody comes into you to do that. Mm -hmm. Plus there's entities too that can come in. Yes, lady back here. Um, after doing a, one of these skill computerized frequency check, I was told that my spirit lives on my body more than it's in my body. Would that be the reason because of too much darkness? Yes, okay, yeah, good, very good question. Can I command the, the command of spirit back into the body and that yes. should be? Yeah. Because I do have some kind of reaction, you know, when I do the command. Okay, let, let, let's, uh, let, let's fix all of you right now. Okay, so her question was, uh, she went on an electronic machine, so that she's kind of like out of her body. And uh, she wants to know how to get back in again. So first of all, what's blocking it? So the darkness is blocking your spirit from coming back in again. So let's, let's take all some darkness out of all of you here. Okay, now we'll bring your spirit more into your body. So your spirit could be on the outside of you, and that could be normal. Here we go. So coming in, I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. Now the next thing is, is your spirit in your body correctly? It could be upside down. Maybe you got woke up one night, or one morning, you got startled by the alarm clock or something. You're dead asleep and gone, you know. Well, your spirit, the reason why you did this here was because your spirit jumped in and energized your body. Because it thought your body wasn't harmed, but it had all this noise happening, okay? It was out there having wherever it was. It shouldn't ever leave your body, but the darkness somehow does that. So you should never be out of your body. So here we go. We're going to take you out and put you in properly. So, so once you go out of your body wrong, you, you're going to probably come in every other time after that improperly. So here we go. Coming out, one, two, three, four, five, and coming in, one, two, three, four, five. There, now you're in your body properly. Anybody feel the body kind of shift or twist or anything? How much time? Ten minutes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
said sometimes it could be normal no, for it, your spirit to be No, no a, a lot of people have their spirit outside of their body. Really? It's really frequent when you see somebody walking and you see this presence either before them or after them. I mean, it's like, wow, you know. Hmm. Would that be the same as having an out-of-body experience, in other words? Uh, different, different. Look at your body up there, and maybe when you come In a sense, back, it could be, yeah. Yeah, it, it, could, it could be uh, like an out-of-body experience, yeah. Sometimes you can catch it on a, a picture. Because I've seen one picture where you can see the spirit in the back of it. Uh-huh. Remember, I think I showed you that? Yeah, really yeah. Trauma. Yeah. Okay, let's do some more... Uh, uh, Clearing. So let's take uh, your head here, maybe upper part of your head, maybe through your temples, if you have anything attached there. Because we did kind of neck areas, okay? So let's do your head. Taking out uh, energetic pins, uh, implants. Okay, how do you feel? Any hot? Yeah, warm. Warm? Okay. Do sinuses. sinuses here? Let's check out our sinuses. See if we have anything blocking our sinuses here. <coughs> there. Okay, let's do. Uh, uh, people have sometimes knee problems from falling down and stuff. Okay, so we'll do knees here. When I set my fingers, I'm expanding the energy, and it's working. Would it be possible to do a trauma clearing? Trauma. Okay. Think of a trauma. Maybe you're in a car accident, and you drive by that place, you know, and you go, uh, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So think of that situation. There. Okay. So on, on, a, on, a, on a 10 to 1 scale, 10 being bad, uh, I want you to be at, at 1. So just think of what number you are now, okay, with that same trauma. Here we go again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Everybody at one? Did not raise your hand, and I'll do, do some more, okay? One more back there, okay? There. So what happened was you have a program running, right? that you were involved with the situation of whatever it was and the program was just released from you for that one situation and what's installed in there is peace so if you try to look at it maybe tomorrow and one of your friends say oh remember who's that place that you used to drive by you're gonna go huh I, I kind of remember it I can still see the situation but I'm not attached to it because you know, that was your experience but you shouldn't have it shouldn't have any traumas or anything attached to your experience that's going to cause you emotions or situation. Did you sort of timeline crash what we just wanted to do that? Right? Okay, I'll do a timeline crash. So let's, uh, let's do a timeline crash on that last situation of trauma, okay? Remember, you're on that with other people. So I'll count to 10 to do this here for each timeline. So, well, we'll see what we do here. So here we go. So that timeline that you dealt with, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That timeline's released. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In fact, it's no longer in existence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. Now the timelines can take typically maybe five minutes, fifteen minutes to an hour to crash. It depends where you are, say on that bridge, okay? If you're at the very far end, you're off of it. But it has to catch up. And now everybody in that timeline that was dealing with the same similar situation as you is now freed from that. So you can do a timeline crash and free millions of people. And so you could be on maybe, say, 50 to 500 timelines. It all depends how it is. 
Uh, one person did a couple thousand timeline crashes, okay? And so most people would say, oh, geez, that's a lot. Of, that's going to take me like a week to do that, you know? Well, sometimes you don't know how many to do, and they just kept doing it, and all of a sudden they go, wow, I feel great. Because your mind doesn't really know or tell you what, how many to do. Five minutes, okay, thank you. If you, if you put in trauma for the timeline, would you have to name what the trauma was? Probably that would be the best thing, yeah. Because you're on that given timeline. How can you call back shattered or fracked pieces of your spirit that might have from traumas? Uh, most of the clearings, I have a spirit integration on it, and that could probably you know, help you out with that, yeah, to integrate the spirit part of you. Yes, the lady back here, I think. timeline had to do with the past lives. Yeah, yeah, a timeline would be a past life, yeah. Past, lives. past life, a parallel life. And so, remember, uh, running out of time here. Uh, Typically, uh, I'll just go back a year ago, okay? Because I, I haven't looked too close right now. So a year ago, we'll say you were abducted every 10 minutes, and it's probably still true. So another you comes in here. And so another alien race is in control of your body. I have that on, on YouTube. It was back in New York here. And uh, so all of a sudden, people, when I would do the, the timeline crashes, well, it would actually be taking out the clone replicas, but it's, it's all very, very similar. Uh, so the clones are replicated every 10 minutes, so they, another alien race, since, since you're turned off and on, right? Off and on, off and on, off and on. When you're turned off, another one takes you and has to recreate the whole scenery here, right? And everybody around you, dress you up, and, and they could turn you off for, say, a year really make you look really nice. Or it could be a couple of minutes and maybe you come back kind of goofy feeling, you know? You go, geez, why, why is my shirt on crooked or backwards or something? Or why is my hair done? Because you have a little bit of memory maybe from the past, but it just recreates you. So when you, I, I do a clearing on Wednesdays for this, okay? Uh, so uh, it's 8.30 your time. It's 20 bucks. We bring in replicas and take them out of you. Okay, and bring you back to be real. I'll do it right now here. Okay, so Thursdays. Yeah, I said we say Thursdays. So here we go. So uh, uh, I'll work with. Uh, what's a common issue for everybody here? Fear. 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 Okay, here we go. So what, what, think of your fear, and they're abducting you because of your fear, and they're creating fear over again, right? So here we go. We'll just start taking out replicas. Your body could jerk. You might feel yourself change in the seat. So I'll just count here. So I'll just say we're at 15. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Somebody just stabilized here. Anybody's body kind of jerk or shift? Okay, coming in, one, two, three, four, and five. So those people just came in. They're real now. You're only real like maybe, you know, a couple hours or so, you know, a, a month, okay? <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, it could be less. <laughs> okay, so what, 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 I said, what, 35? Is that where it was? Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm, I'm in the moment, so. Uh, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Uh, so 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, okay, there we go, that's good. So coming in, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now you're here. How does your body feel? Hot. Hot. Okay, so that's, you're now the real you. Okay, now when you walk out that door, I want you to look at the people here before you leave, okay? And they're all going to be glowing. Now when you walk out that door and you see the people at the expo here, 
The clothes. They, they're gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're going to look like, uh, it's kind of like you look at fish in a fishbowl. Or, or like you're looking at a movie set. Okay, that's how they're going to look to you, honest to God, yeah. No. <laughs> so, a water charging. Get your water. Okay, this is our, our last event. Okay. But we'll be on in two minutes. Thank you. So, water charging. Here we go. Yeah, we've got water up here for people if you need a little bit more or something. So, do you all enjoy the, the uh, workshop here? So, i got a light infusion chamber and the crystal room. You may want to go on there to get more energy into your body to help you out. And I have some healing monitors on the front that's free. So, here we go. Water charging. So, one, two, three. Four, and we bring the dolphins in. So stronger, 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 and stronger. Okay, your water's charged up. So it should taste a little bit different. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I do have a workshop on Sunday, and I'll be giving away uh, 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 one of my, probably, one of my clearings that'll be well worth the, the expense to go to it. So I, don't, yeah. I don't really like charging for stuff, but I have to charge it a longer time. What so. about Monday? Are you doing these? Nothing on Monday, no. Will these healings work on the video? Yeah, we'll work on the video, yes. Is tomorrow night?